I don't know if it's the new book drove me or I drove it. It's really the third in the series of work that's been, uh, that I've, I've put together over the years uh, in a chronological order. There was 1970, 1990, uh, 1990 to 2005, which were the years uh, that, uh, that were involved Susan Sontag. And then this is um, 2005 um, to 2016. And, and what happened was, as I was working on my material for an archive show in the south of France, I, I just, it suddenly hit me that I had accumulated all of this work from 2005, it, it was exciting to start to put that work together. You know, I do think that um, the power uh, in my work is really the, the history in the work, the, the accumulation of the work. The, that's, that's what's powerful. I mean, the pictures are sort of brothers and sisters to each other. So I'm very, very interested in the pagination and the storytelling, and it has a lot to do with, with what, goes, um, you know, what goes into the book. I was very, very lucky. Uh, Bea Feitler was an extraordinary art director um, uh, who I worked with not only at Rolling Stone, but she was an art director of Harper's Bazaar, and she, um, she, was, uh, she worked on the prototype for Vanity Fair. She taught me very early on it was important to stop from time to time and look at your work. It will tell you what to do next, you know, when you look back at your work. And that's what the first two books did do. They, they gave me a lot of... Uh, direction as far as what kind of, what I wanted to do um, with my work with with my work next. I had the opportunity. Um, I wanted to photograph Obama um, in his in his last days in office, and um, you know they they the White House kept putting off the shoot, and then finally it was like <laughs> two weeks before he you know he was supposed to leave the White House, and I get a call that I could come on Thursday at two o'clock in a, a, the, next, the next week. And I said, Is it, that's the last day he's there. <laughs> and it was just you know, so moving to me to be there. Um, the desk was cleared. That night, they, they packed up their stuff, and they, it was inauguration the next day. I wouldn't be a photographer if it wasn't for Cartier-Bazin's book on uh, the world of Henry Cartier-Bazin. I saw that book, and I wanted to be out in the world. I mean, there were moments in these books that sort of carried me to the next place and, and inspired me and influenced me. Uh, and so the books are um, forever important and they're not going away. In this book, um, I had, over the last year and, or two, had worked on a series of women that I had updated the Women's Project from 1999 that you know, was Susan Sonstag's idea to do a book on women. And, and I thought, oh my god, that's one of the worst ideas I've ever heard because it's just too, too big of an idea. It has, it has, um, it's just like going out and trying to photograph the ocean. I don't know, where do you begin, where do you end? Anyway, we did this volume in 1999, uh, 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 this project on women. And it, it, it turned out to be such a big surprise because, well, you know, we are so diverse, and, and just to see how we, what we look like, you know, as, as women, and who we are, and what we do, um, what, I don't know why it was a big surprise, but it was, it was, it was kind of, uh, you know, riveting. And I always wanted to return to that project. So in the last couple of years, I've been working on uh, on adding to the women's project, and um, there is. Um, and that work was put into this book. I think it was primarily the biggest driver for getting this volume put together because I had all this material um, you know, from, from updating of, of the Women's Project. And so there are extraordinary um, you know, women um, from Malala to Gloria Steinem, uh, Cheryl Sandberg to Kathleen Kennedy. I mean, um, and women who are in their field who are not well known necessarily but are doing important things.